After months of speeding through books during the pandemic, a woman in South Baltimore wanted something new to read, but her neighborhood didn't have what she was looking for, which was a comic book shop. So she opened one herself. <laughs> Dreamers and Make Believers is today's feature on Shop Small with Stevie. And Stevie, this is such a great backstory to how this bookstore came to be. Absolutely, Megan. So it all started as realization from owner Miranda Nordell that even as the pandemic ended, it's hard to get your hands on graphic novels here in Baltimore. And thus, the idea for Dreamers and Make Believers was born. We are standing in Dreamers and Make Believers Books. So we are a bookstore, we're a comic book shop, and we're also a coffee house. Our specialty is graphic novels for all ages, um, with a big focus on stories by and for uh, the queer community, women, and black and indigenous people of color. There ha isn't a comic book shop um, anywhere in southern part of Baltimore. And so we felt like, well, if it wasn't here, we should build it ourselves. I never grew up reading comic books, just chapter books mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, like little, you know, books that you read when you're a child. So it's really nice to hear that you also have people coming in here who have not read them as well. Comic book stores and, and graphic novel spaces in particular um, have a long reputation of being spaces where only a certain type of customer is welcome, right? right? Where yes. there's sort of this barrier to entry where if you don't have a favorite Batman or X-Men, yeah, yeah, you feel maybe tentative about being welcome in that space. Mm -hmm. We really love um, sort of turning the stereotype of what a comic book shop is on its head and making sure that we are a a uh, large inclusive space that's bringing stories that are often overshadowed really to the front. This is a fabulous um, queer romance graphic novel for young people um, for ages really 12 to 14 and up. This big long row here um, is manga, which is uh, really Japanese graphic novels. We definitely have the largest selection currently in Baltimore and it's just always getting bigger. Princess Jellyfish. <laughs> I'm about it. I'm about it. Every periodical comic book, every picture book, graphic novel are fully available on our website and we ship worldwide. We've got some fun action figures. These are part of a pride oh, collection. I love this. Yeah, so it's a really fun Harley Quinn, but you know, glitter and rainbow. Mm -hmm. So I see we got some graphic t-shirts here. We have this, a really fun mix of superheroes um, as well as from queer small owned brands and also just some messaging that's really important to our mission as a store. So we We've got puzzles. This lane here um, is sort of our traditional <laughs> bookstore corner. These are our prose and poetry selection. So while our specialty is graphic novels for all ages, we do also carry um, what we lovingly call pictureless books. It's like everywhere I turn, there's something. Yeah, we love um, all of those moments for people to go, oh, ooh. This is so cute. Yeah, so we love having some fun literary classics, um, but in a, in a reimagined way. Yeah. Often on Saturday and Sunday mornings, you'll find lots of families cozied up here with some books, mm -hmm. having sort of a, their own impromptu family story time. Oh. It's exciting to have so many young readers coming in who are discovering graphic novels and really superheroes because of movies and things, mm -hmm. and using that as their launch into a love of reading and then discovering so many other amazing stories um, from that. It's really about featuring powerful stories mm -hmm. uh, by queer voices, by women, by BIPOC, making sure that they're really accessible here in Baltimore um, and to readers as they're looking to discover new exciting voices. That's why we're dreamers and make believers. Love we it. love, yeah, from the page to real life. Mm -hmm. We love um, having a little bit of magic in every day. Wow. Oh my gosh, by far the coolest comic book shop I've ever been into and ever seen. It's just so wonderful. It's a place that everyone can feel included when they walk in the door. They have something for every single person, right. for people of all ages. And you can also not only check out some of their comic novels and also some books and some graphic t-shirts, but you can do that while sipping on some of their coffee, which is really good. Notice that. And Very some nice. sweet treats. Yeah. yeah, I could see just buying a book, getting some coffee, sitting in yeah. one of the you know, couches. and. Yeah. Yes. Spending a day there. So. A very nice place. Awesome. I had a lot of fun going oh, there. Good. So I'm definitely well, going to go back. Yeah, no, it looks like a great <laughs> spot. And uh, hey, if there's a